Hello, awesome people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today, we're taking a look at the short story by Mary A. Shelley, wrote in 1833 and published in The Mortal Immortal, a tale. Uh, so we'll be taking a look at this short story for you folks. Um, this is the second short story uh, or novel that I've reviewed by you. Uh, for this channel, I, I reviewed her classic work, a seminal science fiction work, uh, Frankenstein, for you folks, which is very different from its film uh, creations. Uh, and the concept has changed considerably over time, and I, I much prefer her version of this. Uh, this short story is appearing uh, in the Promethean Horrors uh, collection that we've been doing a deep dive into uh, classic tales of mad science, in this case mad uh, alchemy, because it will set place about hundreds of years in the past, our major storyline. Uh, so our, so uh, so what we'll do now is uh, so I only this is my first short story I've ever read by her. I've read two novels, uh, The Last Man and Frankenstein, so this is the third thing I've read by her. I like it. I thought it was pretty good. It's about 20 pages long. I read it during halftime at the playoffs yesterday. Um, and then I was so engaged in it that I finished it, even though like about five or seven minutes into the game actually passed uh, while, I was watch while I was reading it. So definitely enjoyed it. It probably took me about 17 or 18 minutes or so uh, for me to knock it out. It was pretty fast, about 20 minutes long. Um, in, in the super size collection, uh, it was, but it's, you know, it starts on page on one page and then it passes forward a couple pages, right, uh, and so forth. Uh, so it was definitely well paced. I enjoyed what was happening uh, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, this 1833 short story. So it's almost, you know, it's like 190 years ago. So this is pretty old. Um, I'll, I'll link you to both this collection that we've been doing a deep dive into as well as the short story online for free. I'm sure I can find it somewhere uh, for you folks. So uh, so let's go ahead and do my review of it. As a reminder, my reviews are spoiler free. So this will be pretty quick. I'll just give you the basic gist that you'll find out in the first three or four pages of a 20 page short story, right, that you would find out yourself um, and then leave you to it. So uh, anyway, uh, so what's happening is, is our point of view character is a young man who has, who's born poor uh, and impoverished um, he was born uh, he, there's a neighbor girl uh, those two are great friends who start started to grow a romance with both of their families very very happy about that uh, and then her family dies and rather than be adopted uh, by the family that's next door she's adopted uh, by a governess uh, in a nearby a state and with a castle and so forth that doesn't have many children um, as, the, as, the, as the next heir. So she moves up from poor to rich um, overnight with her parents dying tragically. Uh, and therefore, um, they have been removed from each other um, social life. But they still see each other and, uh, uh, and are still romantic interests with each other in play so what's basically happening uh is, is that without you know uh within a few pages into the short story you'll learn uh, that in order uh to make the money uh, that's needed to win her uh and become a man of wealth and means he decides to work for a famous alchemist um and so he becomes his apprentice and that's about five pages into the 20 page uh, short story so, so i'll leave you there but what will happen with that uh, and so forth will leave to your uh, imagination, so, so to speak. So, anyway, I'm giving this, it was well written, it was gripping, it was definitely well done. I'm giving this an 8 minus, uh, and like like a 7.7 .7 or 7.8 that I'm running up to an 8 proper. It was well written, well done. Mary Shelley's definitely an artist with some great uh, chops uh, with her stuff, uh, and I definitely enjoyed it. Um, it was probably a couple pages too long. There was a lot of just talking less plot that was actually happening uh, particularly between our two main characters our point of view character and his lady friend uh and so anyway uh so there's a lot probably a little bit too much talking and a lot of like thinking and doing things right and plot and so forth but it was fun um and I definitely enjoyed it unlike frankenstein there's less philosophy in this one and more just pure short storying him so i thought you know that was actually pretty good um, she got that out of her way with Frankenstein, and so she, you know, uh, but anyways, so there's a lot of fun stuff that happens in this. I would say it's probably more fantasy uh, than science fiction, since our key person is, is an alchemist. Although the editor of this collection says it's it, can, it classifies as mad scientists uh, because it's an alchemist is our main character, rather than which is the science of its age. But I would disagree with that because it was trying to find the elixir of life. It was trying to find you know the ability to turn. Uh, led into gold, those sorts of things, right? And it was not doing through, you know, I, I would not consider an alchemist uh, to be a, and you know, it was making making valuable potions and so forth. I consider that being more of a fantasy role uh, than a, uh, a, a, a science fiction role. Um, uh, 
but you know, uh, your, your mileage may vary. And so I would consider this more to be a, 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 a fantasy short story uh, than I would to be uh, of, of, with a horror element, uh, than I would consider this to be more of a mad science, of a science fiction with a horror element to it, like Frankenstein. So anyway, uh, so that's your mileage may vary. You may disagree with me, but that, that's those are my thoughts on, on it. Um, there is a lot of social uh, commentary um, uh, for the folks that are happening in here uh, between the different classes that they start off for. And so there are everybody's friends and everybody's happy for them to get together. Uh, and then they wind up in different classes, right? And then there's a different struggles that will have a dinner or a relationship as a result. So there's a lot of good social commentary that's happening, um, I think, in this uh, short story. Um, so anyway, I'll go ahead and leave you to it. That's my 20-page uh, short story uh, review of The Mortal Immortal a Tale by Mary Shelley, 1833. Have you read it? If so, what did you think about it? Would you like about spoilers in the comments below? Let's do so. Spoiler tags. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hey, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be a lot more of these to follow. Also, as a reminder, the channel is named uh, after a quote by Jacques Joubert, a French philosopher, who said that the worst thing about new books was that they kept us from reading the old books. And an 1833 short story uh, by a classic writer um, in the genre is definitely something uh, which is... Uh, you know, a lost stuff, right? Right, the older stuff, right? So it's a key thing for this channel. Um, and then finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives. So we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling, and I appreciate it. So thanks again, and have an amazing day.